What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. Now I'm sure you have seen people review Pliny the Elder and Hetty Topper and they go head to head. But have you ever seen someone compare Pliny the Elder and Hetty Topper after aging for two years? <laughs> well guess what? That's what we're doing today. So stay tuned for Let's Have Some Beer. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. I'm Jeff. I'm Jacob. I'm Paul. And today we are doing very stupid things. Uh, I've been aging a bottle of Pliny the Elder and a can of Hetty Topper in my fridge for just about two years. If you don't believe me, I'll show you that label just so you can see the date. <laughs> so you know I'm not full of shit. Well, I am full of shit, because we're here yeah, reviewing we're doing it. <laughs> now, uh, do you guys want to describe why it's a bad idea to drink an IPA that's aged this long? Well, I mean, we could start with what they're, what they're in. We've got Russian River yeah. in the uh, bottle, uh, and we got a can. So we've got the, the old bottle and can analogy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so on one hand, the bottle cap from a can, or from a bottle, isn't going to seal as perfectly as a can. So that's already an issue there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, oxygen and beer are enemies. They are not friends. Oxygen will destroy the flavor and quality of a beer. Uh, so anytime you have a beer in a bottle for a long period of time, you're gonna let some oxygen in. So what that might do to an IPA is not good. <laughs> But we also have Vinny from Russian River who bottled it. Yeah. Therefore, he's a little bit more particular about his parts per million or parts per billion. You know, uh, he allowed, yeah. allows in his product to begin with. Yeah. So our hypothesis, at least my hypothesis personally, is that uh, Russian River just brews a straight up more stable beer, uh, whereas Alchemist has kind of been known for a lot of flavor up front when they're fresh, and then when they start to age stuff starts getting a little weird. Uh, so two years out, let's see how weird that gets. <laughs> so I want to take bets right now. Guys, which one do you think is going to be the least shitty out of the two? I, I'm calling Pliny. That's yeah. Pliny's my boy. I, that one. I'm going Vinny. Vinny yeah. all day long. Well, I guess it's three for Pliny, but Hetty Topper, don't count yourself out. You're in a can. Yeah, which is, that is an advantage. We don't know what's in that can, but we're about to find out. <laughs> we got a can of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to, to crack yeah, these well, open? Let's pour them out. I want right. to see what they look so like. So first, we're going to pour them into these glasses down below, uh, just so you guys can see what they look like for clarity purposes, stuff like that. And then we'll pour ourselves these little uh, samples. So uh, you mind cracking open that bottle? I'll get the can. Oh. Still got good color. Yeah. Yeah, this is too. Good, those are good, good sounds. All right, we've got some bubbles, nothing. Yeah, not yeah, exploding. Not clean. <laughs> That's good. All right, not... so let's pour them in, shall we? Well, the head is The definitely... actually looks clean. Like, that's a what very bright, the... good looking beer. Yeah, none of them have turned weird colors. That's yeah, nice. That wow, pour Eddie's, is... Eddie's head is, <laughs> is nice. It's Hold on, we're not it's... done because we gotta swirl this can and see what oh, kind of magic oh, lies. We're taking the bottom. We're taking the dregs too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These ones oh. get everything. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you brought your big boy pants. Right? <laughs> Should have brought a uh, centrifuge tube so we could uh, put this under a scope later and see what's actually in there. <laughs> oh, that is oh there you go. Yeah. There, there's a little something. Hey. something. You know, I will tell you guys, based on these initial pours, I'm actually quite impressed. For yeah. two years, Color, yeah, they um, look the same, I would say, just about. I would say... Uh, anything, Pliny, yeah, Pliny looks Pliny, a little darker. Pliny looks a little darker. It's got a little bit of a, like, a, like a cloudier body to it. Um, but man, I'm looking at a Hetty, and it looks almost identical to what it is when you get it fresh. A little light under there. <clears throat> Oh yeah, there Thank you go. Oh, we just got oh, I got foam coming out. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw a little chunk. We got a little meteor foam to the ground here. Yeah. All right, well guys, 
Cheers yeah. to a uh, two-year-old playing the elder, shall we? There is absolutely well. nothing on the nose. I know, I, I smell malty. something. Yeah, I smell something. It's a little malty. Yeah. You know what? I can't. I, there are IPAs I've brewed worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. It has happened. This is not that terrible. No. I've tasted fresh IPAs that either tasted the same or worse than this. Yeah. It's, um, it's definitely far more on the malty side. Oh, yeah. Hops have fallen off quite a bit. However, there is still bitterness in there. Mm -hmm. You're just not getting the fresh, delicious, dry hops that you would expect out of a Pliny bottle. Those have all kind of dissipated quite a bit. Honestly, what it reminds me of is like old man IPAs. <laughs> old man um, IPAs. He's, talk, he's talking about circa 2012. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are old man know. IPAs. Like, I think those know. crystal heavy ones. Yeah. But we still have the, yeah. the clear color, but I'm thinking that's For some sure. of the, you know heavier crystal malt. Yep. You know. Like, like pre-stone IPAs. <laughs> Um, just like an old world IPA or kinda, something. Kind of, yeah, like the old school, like what East Coast IPA used to be <laughs> it's, before they discover hazy. Honestly, kinda guys, like it's, it's <laughs> not <laughs> terrible yeah. at all. It is. I I was <laughs> expecting this to be awful. In fact, I introduced them to this idea by saying, "You want to try some shitty aged beers?" <laughs> that, that was how I introduced it. And actually, this isn't not terrible. Bad. No, it's dry. It's clean. It's Okay, I think uh, I'm. I think we need another. We should just have multiple glasses because I kind of want to have it side, side by, by side. side. Mm. Yeah. Let me go. Only someone had a bunch of glassware. Mm. Yeah. Uh, give me one. <laughs> um, I do gotta say that it looks good. It is looking <laughs> good. Yeah. For a, for a beer that has a little bit of haze to it, to not. And you poured it, that one like a normal human being. <laughs> oh, I spoke to. To not get any of that oxidative, you know, browning yeah, character. Yeah. That's what I Yeah. Like, that's a... I mean, mm -hmm. you know what we should have done? We should have gotten new Petties and Pliny's. If anyone has a bottle of these from 2017, <laughs> <laughs> if you could send that this way, along with a fresh one, we'll, we'll, we'll redo this. Yeah, yeah, we'll redo it and do a side-by-side -side old and new. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It's heading Ooh. topper time. Oh. Ooh. Uh, well, mm. just based mm. off of the aroma, it smells better. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, I got a little sock. I, okay. I'll we'll take your shoes off. I've had my shoes off all day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm, huh. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, yeah. I've got a flatness to it. Like, I don't know if it's. Do you. Carbonation wise, this is this I mean we have bubbles. So yeah, got, we have bubbles. Um but, yeah, we have a lot of bubbles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to make of it. It makes me cringe a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I'll say that. I don't know what it is it's making me cringe. I mean these both came from the same drawer, same temperature. It's something in the finish. There's something yeah. in the finish that's a little like astringent, um, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely astringent. Um but the the beginning of the mouthfeel, the be the uh, the beginning mouthfeel, the beginning flavors are actually really nice. Um, a lot better than I thought they were going to be. And you know, the mouthfeel itself is actually quite smooth. Yeah. Um, Still. Yeah, I would say if it didn't have that astringent finish, this would probably be the winner. Um, surprisingly. It. Oh man, okay, now smell your Pliny okay. right after that. Yeah, alright. Oh, so, it's like a mold bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god, it's an absolute mold bomb. Okay, Hetty still smells way better. That smells and tastes. It's that astringent finish is its only downfall. Yeah. I think that astringent didn't have finish that. is messing up my Pliny. <laughs> I still want to love Pliny. <laughs> there's something about this I want to love, but yeah, no, I it's, mean it's hard to follow. I don't, I don't think there's a, a wrong answer to this. They're both wrong. <laughs> yeah. Guys, After actually, years, I changed um, my mind. These both taste pretty bad. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm looking for positive characters in both. Yeah, of them, but I, I mean, I, I don't think they're sink pours. Well, yeah, they kind of are sink pours. <laughs> 
If we open, if, if these were beers we opened fresh, they're like, oh yeah, this was brewed last week. We all be very confused, yes, <laughs> uh, and upset. Um, so they're not, <laughs> they're not good, quote unquote, right? Um, but considering that IPA is not meant to be aged, that they were aged for two years, uh, they're a lot better than I thought they were yeah, going to be. I think we're dealing with two very competent companies when it comes to their packaging. Yeah, like if you if your product can age for two years when it's not supposed to and come out like this, you're doing something right. I mean, my only thing is, is did they ever anticipate that anyone would sit on one of their beers and drink it for two years? Well, I would say yeah, Pliny goes out of the way to say, don't fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vinny. <laughs> Actually, this one says it too, I think. <laughs> or it says straight can. up drink from the can. Oh, well, maybe that's where well, we put them. Ah, we should have just took mouth ports. So we'll... <laughs> don't be a D-bag, recycle this can. Yeah, it doesn't say drink fresh, though. It's really not. There's I mean, it says freshness and control has always been my main concern when it comes to our beer. Okay. So. Well, Pliny makes it pretty damn explicit. It says, keep cold, drink fresh, do not age! Exclamation point. <laughs> Pliny the Elder is a historical figure. Don't make the beer inside this bottle one. Uh, we did. So. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think the more I drink both of them, the more I'm starting to get... I think they are oxidized, and I'm getting that like uh, yeah, wet cardboardy like just bitterness and astringency. I think that's what we picked up on. We didn't quite, it didn't click, and I'm like, yeah, it's, they're oxidized. <laughs> um, they're old. <laughs> uh, oh man! All right, so so let's talk about our uh, favorite, the one that we found sure. least <laughs> terrible. Um, <laughs> Paul, you want to go ahead and start? <sighs> Right? It's... Yeah. I want to say the plane just out of West Coast Pride. Just just, just because we're here. It, it's just... It's very dry. Yeah. There's no hop left to it. But then going to the heady, it's just... It hurts. It hurts going Pliny to heady. But heady back to Pliny, hold on. That hurts too. <laughs> there is no proper way to drink these two beers. No. Sequentially. No. Maybe side by side was a bad idea. Who knows? Uh, no, I think just aging them for two years was a bad idea. The, the best kind of bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Alright, so, so which oh. one was your least I'm gonna shitty? Be, oh, least shitty. I'm or gonna favorite. A, I hate to use the word favorite. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's I'm, a stretch. I'm still going Pliny just because this hurts me. This hurts my palate. It okay. hurts my palate. Okay. What about you, Jacob? Damn, I kind of want to say heady. Um, it's a really difficult call because both are bad for different reasons. Um, but I think heady at least tricks me into thinking it'll taste better because the aroma is actually quite pleasant. Um, they're both not good. <laughs> let's, let's be very clear let's about be real. that. Um, well, I guess I'll go heady. Well, for me, uh, shit, I don't know. They both taste pretty awful. <laughs> um, I would say that Pliny was a pleasant surprise because it was the first one that we tried. Um, however, I think that Hetty was a bigger relief when I first tried it. Uh, when it comes down to drinkability, uh, there is that astringency from the Hetty Topper. I did not like it definitely leaves the palate just like super soaked in hot bitterness uh, which makes it really hard to drink but it overall I mean its flavor was better so I would say that if you're really dumb and you're really desperate and you happen to find a bottle of heady topper in your fridge that's been sitting there for two years I would say you know what go for it Go for it. Reach for the stars. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that Hetty Topper was my favorite. Now, with that being said, it looks like Jacob has now mixed the two <laughs> together as a cuvee, if you will. <laughs> it smells like terrible. <laughs> you know, I feel like it just kind of muddles both of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I never want to do this kind of episode again. This was a bad idea. We're all going to be throwing up in five minutes. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do to us, but... Well, there you go. So you said Pliny. You said... I said Hetty. Hetty. I said Hetty. Looks like Hetty takes the win. Uh, so the, there you, the wind wins. Yeah, the win, if you would call it that, as the least shitty aged beer, hype beer, if you will. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure that you give us a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, check out our website. It's in the description below. We sell cool shirts and stuff now, too. Uh, a little bit of information about us on the show as well um, and how we got started. If you guys have other uh, terrible bad ideas that you want us to try because you don't want to, um, let us know where those are and maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll have an ambulance on standby. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Please, please don't kill us though. Please don't kill us. Um, yeah, I mean, this was fun. We talked about this a while. I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad we did it. It wasn't pleasant, but I'm glad we did it. Yeah, we did it so you don't have to. Yeah. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever tried a aged IPA? What did it taste like to you? If you've tried one of these guys, being as old as these are, what did it taste like to you? Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below. And uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Let's, Let's Have, have some, some Beer. Beer. Cheers. It looks better when it looks like yeah, you're actually yeah. talking to me, not the camera. It just makes more sense. I don't, it, so we don't get the Ted Bundy look? Yeah.